Hello. Oh, my ruler's in the way. Hello, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I am slightly bleary eyed and uh, my ears are a wee bit suffering this morning, but I'll tell you more about that in a second. I'm here to share my Deck of the Year card for week 14, I believe. This is a collab that is hosted by lovely Penny at Penny's Crafty Creations. You will find her channel linked below. Um, and the idea is to decorate a playing card for every week of the year. So there's 52 weeks of 52 cards. Um, and I have managed to stick to it. So I've got a little, little bundle that have all been decorated. And I've got a load that I have not. Um, so the inspiration for this week's is uh, because, it's, it's, well, it's the reason why I feel a bit tired and um, a bit deaf, frankly, this morning, because I was at my first gig for the year. Um, my husband and I we went through to Glasgow to see Slash, Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators and their support act, which was Mammoth. All was fantastic. We had a great night. Um, it was quite late. By the time we drove back through, we were about midnight and I'm quite old. And it was really loud, which was fabulous at the time. But when we got back home, so even after like an hour drive home, <laughs> And we put out the lights and I was lying there and I was like, what's that noise I can hear? Just for a minute, I thought maybe somehow the radio in the car outside the house was still playing or something. I could just hear sort of low level music. It's slightly better this morning, but I have to say I'm suffering slightly with my ears. So I think I need to invest in a pair of those loop or something similar earphones. However... I am going to make a little rock slash themed um, playing card for this week. So I'm going to lower you down to the table and show you what I'm thinking. Um, so hopefully you like it. See you in a second. Okay, so I have done a bit of die cutting. I have cut out this hat um, and I've just fussy cut so I cut it out once in black um, Centura Peril and once from a little bit of silvery coloured card to add the little um, little discs like Slash has on his hat and I've also cut this little kind of electric guitar out I've got it three times and I'm not quite sure what combo I would like. And I've cut out rock in red um, and in black. And my idea is, I think this will work, to kind of have rock going down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Rock going down the side, the hat up here, and then maybe the silver guitar, like so, or the red one. Maybe a bit too much red. Anyway, what I want to do before I put anything down is add a bit of colour to the background. And I just bought these. I don't know if they're going to go, but um, these are Lindy's Magicals um, powders. Is that what they're called? I, I really don't need them because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I have brush shows. I have pixie powders, I've got um, a few of the Nouveau powders, oh my goodness, there we go, and I've also got even one of the Pretty Gets Gritty, 
sort of explosion powders. However, I keep seeing, there's this lady on Instagram and I keep seeing her using these and I really like the look of them. So, these one, this set's called Northern Lights and I got it, well I got it on eBay but I think it was from, is it Budley? Budley Crafts or Buddy Crafts? Um, they're called, there's Hockey, Hockey Puck Black. Maple syrup bronze. Are these in the no, better? Polite people purple, emerald A, eh? and Canadian bacon blush. So I think I'm presuming you can see the Northern Lights from Canada. So there's a sort of Canadian theme. Uh, so it'll maybe be an a eh, rather than a e. Eh? So I don't know. Maybe the black and the purple would be a wee bit rock on the background. The other thing I've got is this stamp set, which is an Inka Dinka Do. And again, I think I found this on eBay. And it's got some rocky kind of images and things. So I might add a bit of stamping to it as well. So I'm going to get my this. Maybe I should have a wee bit of a play with the colours before I go straight onto the um what do you call it? Straight onto the um Playing card. Oh my goodness. You can tell I had a late night and my brain's a bit frazzled. Now, what the lady does is that I see using these on Instagram and she gets like a wide fan brush and sort of scatters the powders with that so I should have found it before um, here we go so I've got this one now fun fact I have to keep all of my paint brushes tucked away because I guess my cat loves them and he will <laughs> chew the bristles, he runs about the house with them, he can find them, you know, you've got, like, say, say in this thing here with all of these pens and stuff, if there was one paintbrush tucked in low down, he would find it and steal it and chew it, um, and I'm not sure that it's really the best for him, but anyway, so let me try a little bit of this hockey puck black. Like it's got kind of goldy colours in it. And I've picked up way too much. So I might as well just do the whole thing. And then I'm just going to wonder if I should put that back on. None of my other ones just open up kind of loose like that. Ooh, right in short yes. Wowzers. Can you get a, see what this colours are like? So there's all sorts of colours in there. This bit here you can see there's like yellow, green, blue, a purpley pink, definitely a kind of goldy sort of tone. Oh, I love it. Maybe I just go with that. 
the black would look quite cool against that and the red. Yeah, it's kind of grungy and I've got loads of it on my paintbrush still, have I? No, okay. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just going to try and pick up a tiny little amount. Like so. If you want to see me check out the other colours in this and have a play, let me know in the comments because I will probably do a bit of that too. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I love it. This is why I just love all of these kind of explosion -y powder things because they are just fabulous to get the different colours. I don't want to lose all of that. Um, the sort of different colours around the edges. Now I have found when I have done this as I've been doing this week to week that the playing cards are not a huge success being heated to dry them off but it's better to let them Um, dry naturally. I think they've got a bit of plasticky in them so they kind of bubble and I don't really like that effect. So um, that is that. Should I go in and do a little bit of purple? <gasps> Will that totally ruin it? Yeah, just leave it, let it dry and then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping as well. So I will be back in a minute or two when it's dry. See you soon. Okay, I'm going to use um, black ink, but this one is kind of, it's not very juicy anymore, so it's kind of losing a bit of its um, depth of colour. And what will I use? Something just to add a bit of a background, a bit of a rocky background. I quite like this little, Dull kind of thing. And I'm going to stick it onto a bit of a bit of scrap paper. Am I not a bit of scrap paper? bit of that there and a little bit of that there. Do another little bit here. Go. Okay, now I think if I put my hat on first, it is all going to kind of hang over the edge, but that's all right. I 
just kind of loosely put things on and then it means I don't kind of run out of space with the the letters and I'll come back to that O I believe my glue is actually behaving itself this morning there we go now I'll come back to that Might just stick the hat on a wee bit like so I mean you don't really see much of these colours at all do you but or much of the stamping but it makes it less the less of a just a white kind of gesso background. I think the red one is a bit too much and the black I think would be too much with a black hat. Yeah. So I'm going to go silver but do I add the black note? Or the red. I think the red brightens it up a wee bit. So. Here we go. Stick it on there. And then see if I can just... a little bit of glue and there we go week 14 oops in honour of my first gig which was last night so I hope that you like my little um altered playing card for this week uh, if you do do you know what I'm going to probably doodle a bit in the border because I started doing that so yeah if you like my playing card be sure and say hello in the comments Do some little round doodly bits, just like the, the sort of discs on his hat. <laughs> Excuse my squeaky chair, it always squeaks. I maybe need to get some oil for it. So yeah, there we go. That is the finished item. Thank you so much for watching. Please say hello in the comments. It makes my day. And if you haven't followed my channel and you've enjoyed what you've seen, um, please hit that subscribe button. I make videos generally a few times a week and um, yeah, it would be lovely to see you back another time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.